everyone, I'm The Plants Meow, and today I'm going to be doing a rather different video where I go to some big box stores. This is something that I do not too often, but probably every month or so, where I go to my local Home Depot, Lowe's, and Walmart and see if there's anything of interest there. Sometimes there's some gems, sometimes there's really nothing, particularly my Walmart. I'm still going to go there even though I've lost in my entire faith in it. <laughs> there's always just some sad little bonsais, not much of anything else. But fingers crossed, hopefully there's something good there today. So I'm excited to take you along with me and I hope you enjoy. Got some big ponytail tongs, croutons, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I wanted to get one of these for my mom. I've been thinking about it. It's a string of dolphins, but this one doesn't look too hot. I just need water though. So this recording in big box stores is like hecka more awkward than I thought it would be. So even though I don't collect cactuses or succulents, like it's a spiky, a hot one. And what is that? That was absolutely alarming. But it's so cool. See, I don't need to start collecting another group of plants because I have way too many. <laughs> oh God! Look how like positively sad these papas look. This is not look bad. Wandering Jew. This is also 1098. Begonia. I don't collect begonias, but I'm starting to get the itch. <laughs> Ugh. These don't look hot. It's because they're glued down. That's. Wow. Okay, whatever. <laughs> These are hecka cheap. They're only three twenty eight. All these are stunning. Fourteen eight. And look at these tenanthes. They look super good. And they're twelve ninety eight. We've got some major aloe game going on. They have these medium ones for about eight ninety nine. They're six inch pots. And then they have these. What's Twenty nine ninety eight ten inch pots. Kind of want one. They got a lot of these. They look cute, but they're horrible atrocities because they have been painted on. Super depressing. I wasn't prepared to find a gigantic aloe, so I don't know what to think. Do I want one today? Where would I put it? Mm. 
Maybe I'll come back. They've also got some humongous daisies. I mean, they're not like huge, huge, but. $24.98. That's a pretty good size. Some snake plants for $14.98. Where is me? And that one. These are cool. Oh, these glued down. Okay, maybe not. Whoops. Alright. So the water's just put in there. Okay, so I really didn't find much in Lowe's. I was surprised by the really big aloe plant. That is something I'm still considering, but I really have to think about where I put it because I hadn't anticipated getting one for a while. You know I used to love aloe plants. They were one of my first plants. When I started my non-toxic plants collecting, I got rid of those. So now that I'm okay with know how to keep my cats away from it, it's something I would love to bring into my home because aloe plants have been in my family for a long time and I would really love that. But I really got to think about where I put it. And I don't want to just bring a gigantic aloe home and not know what to do with it. <laughs> okay, so I just got to my Home Depot. This I'm most excited about. It's probably the best you're going to see, to be honest. I always find um, interesting things here or things that at least look healthy. My Lowe's usually looks like it's half dying. Walmart looks like it's pretty much almost dead. So I'm not looking forward to that. But could be surprised. <laughs> All right, so right at the entrance are these begonias. They're ten ninety eight. They look pretty good. Oh my god, they redid it. So this whole area used to be filled with plants. Now it's this. I mean, it just looks consolidated. But why do you got all this room, Home Depot? What are you doing? <sighs> this is the rack that always looks really good, but it's like hidden. So they've got some ivy in there. Looks so good. They all look so much healthier. Got some little owls. Some special buy for $5.98. Looks pretty cool. Love this pot. And it's only $5.98. It feels so nice. It's really good quality. Surprised at that price. Some little snake plants. Same price as the Lowe's ones, and the Lowe's were a lot bigger. But they might be healthier in here, honestly. Oh my god, this is a trailing plant heaven. Stop. $9.98. Wow, this looks like a pearls and jade or an enjoy. And then I got some golden poppers back there. Oh, that's pretty. What oh. a regular adoration. Oh my god, these always freak me out. I always think of spiders on Halloween plants. Skin out some pictures of Sonica. Gosh, if I didn't already have some of these, I would be buying them right now. I got Brazil in here. This one's actually $16.98. I thought it was going to be similar in price to the others. Oh, it looks like these bigger pots are all $16.98. Ooh, $1.80 African violets. If you're looking for those, that is a steal. I'm always like surprised at the fact that I play some succulents. They're always so cheap and I want to get some just because. Like that one. It's so cute. Oh, look at this. It's a pepperoni out to Sophia. It's a variegated one. It's only $3.98. This is actually really cute. I'm actually quite tempted. Just put it down for a second. Oh, yeah. So I never like these flowers, but what are those off white? They look so healthy. Alright, I'm feeling a little bonded. Gonna take this one. 
It's a little bit. These are twenty nine ninety eight. They don't look good though. Well, there's just not there's not enough sun for these guys in here. And then the cream poppers. Oh, this is that weird one. I think it's called Rio. It's not a Brazil, it's too pointy. Cute though. Pieces. $22.98. It just looks so happy. Okay, so Home Depot was a lot more impressive than Lowe's was. Everything looks so much healthier. They are awesome with their trailing plants. They always have such a good stock. In fact, the places that they moved them is actually better than they had them before. They don't get the direct sunlight, which a lot of them were burning. So now they look super healthy and happy. Um, the only thing that doesn't look as happy is the ficuses, obviously, because they're not in direct sun anymore. But honestly, the rest of the stock looks so good. If you want a trailing plant, Home Depot seems like the best place to go. Obviously, that's my local Home Depot. I don't know how other local ones are for you. They could be different. Your Lowe's could be a ton better. I know Chris's Lowe's is phenomenal. They have always so many cool things. So I'll have to definitely take you guys there one day. So now I'm gonna go into Walmart. I don't expect to find anything here. I'm definitely gonna take a look. Um, Check it out. I also don't want to bring home any unhealthy plants. The peperomia I found I was pretty happy with, so I'm pretty excited. And I don't have enough tusifolia, so I'm actually happy about that. It's only because they were a bit more pricey online. I was hoping to always find one in the stores because peperomias are pretty common. This one seems a bit more uncommon for me, especially a variegated form. So I'm really happy about that. And it looks different in variegation from the other ones I've seen. I don't know if I'm just never seeing these guys, obviously, but uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. The Walmart section. I've got some sad succulents. Such a nice cactus section that are tortured cactuses, essentially. Nice these succulents don't look bad. But honestly, who's going to come up and buy this? So, this is what I mean by one of them are is an absolute appointment. Look, got some bonsais. <laughs> they don't let you down with those. Although they have glued on rocks, so... <sighs> anyway. Oh, woe is the Diffenbachias. What? Okay, so this is actually a good one. We got a Cebu Blue here. She ain't looking her hottest, but I've never seen one in person and I don't have one. It's $14. That's tempting. She's really big though. And I have a trailing wall, but only for like smaller trailing pants. So I'd have to think on that for a second. Also, I get worried because they're generally so unhealthy here with what if they have pests. And we got some strawberry begonias. Really cute. And how much are these? These are 14 as well. But if you look inside, oh, really cute though. Really good grief. Good thing that there isn't like a plant waste up in here because these people. I'm like almost scared to pick it up. Like what if there's pests? Because how long has this been sitting here? And they have disposed. Or <laughs> done anything. 
Do they water? You know what? I think I'm gonna buy myself some of these. They look so pretty. So, so pretty. <laughs> the saddest looking money trees I've seen in my life. And these are low maintenance. At least they're trying though. Like this guy's just like, he's pushing. I look how fuzzy this begonia is though. I'm just a little scared of buying anything from this place, to be honest. <laughs> This is one of Paso's Brazil. RIP. Walmart. So I want to say I'm surprised by what I just saw, but I'm not because every time I go in there, they look dead. That's why I said earlier that I had already given up on Walmart. I think if I ever film another big box store, I don't even think I will come here because honestly, I feel like they just get plants in and then they just let them do whatever and die. I really don't understand this place. I don't think they water it. I don't know what the heck's going on. I know that everything is always pretty much dead here and I don't get it, <laughs> like at all. They can't be making anything off of this place. We must have like the worst floral section ever, numbers wise. I mean, I don't go to a ton of Walmarts, but I swear this is by far the worst I think I've ever seen. And it's always like this, it's ridiculous. It kind of makes me want to start like a little oh, save the plant thing, but honestly, it's a big box store. They don't even care, you know, like it's just the floor apartment barely makes the amount of money that the rest of Walmart would. So they're not going to care about that little section, which is really unfortunate. Like that there isn't one at least good person in there that could just water the freaking plants. I don't even, it's not like they're plastic decorations, you know, but anyways. So Lowe's was okay. Things were alive, obviously. The aloe plant is really tempting. I still need time to think on that. I'm not quite sure where I would put it yet if I did get one. And I feel like I'm pretty confident that they'll still have them, you know, within the next week or so. And Home Depot, I love Home Depot. I wish they had more, but what the, the selection they did have was really good and really healthy. So that is obviously the best one. I'm always excited to go in there. They know what they're doing. It's great. Like they, they really do care. Like I've seen them change around like where the plants are just to see if they'll do better. So they're learning and they've gotten so much better. So I'm melting. It's hot. I'm going to get home, start cooking dinner and edit this video and I'll have it up Wednesday. It's currently Sunday. So I hope you all really enjoyed it. Do you ever find anything from big box stores? Are you surprised by anything you saw today? <laughs> so let me know your experiences down below. If you like the video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.